Is Bud E. Love king of the lounge singers? You be the judge. I love you more today than yesterday. The wardrobe is a huge part in the Buddy Love uh, uh, vernacular. May I say vernacular on television? Don't you love me madly? What? The well-worn tuxedo, the dangling bow tie, and the handheld microphone are all tools in the trade of the lounge singer. And it isn't any different for Buddy Love, for in the realm of the lounge singers, Buddy Love may be the king. Here's Scott Rappaport. The golden voice of Frank Sinatra, the unique stylings of Sammy Davis Jr., the unmistakable voice of Jack Jones, the velvet tones of Buddy Love. Mr. Bojangles. Buddy Love? Thank God I've been blessed with probably one of the greatest set of pipes that ever, ever was on this planet. This is Buddy Love, philosopher, composer, lounge singer. Unforgettable, something like me. And I wrote this for Nat Cole, by the way. Unforgettable. Actually, we thought Irving Gordon wrote that for Nat. Anyway, if you think Buddy is real, get real. He's actually Robert Vickers, former soul singer. About five years ago, Vickers, who's married and lives in California, decided that he wasn't cut out to be a soul survivor and decided to switch to the saloon circuit. He became Buddy Love, lounge singer. Buddy knew he hit the big time when he crooned off Broadway at New York City's Jewel Box Theater to packed houses for 11 weeks straight. I'm coming home, I've done my time. Thank you so much, thank you. Vickers didn't just create Buddy Love, he is Buddy Love, the lounge singer's lounge singer. Vickers rarely steps out of character. Buddy never, ever sings without a spotlight, and he hates not having a microphone at arm's length. What he loves is his music, his fans, and himself. When you get into the song, be it a medley, be it a ballad, make sure that your face is seen. You want the people to see the smile, the charisma. Buddy love, buddy love. When Buddy gets ready for his nightly gig, watch out. His look is a key part of the show, and what a show it is. Darling, I love you more today than yesterday. The wardrobe is a huge part in the Buddy Love uh, uh, vernacular. May I say vernacular on television? If Buddy seems too good to be true, it's because he is. There's no song he won't take credit for, and no joke too old to retell. Buddy has performed across the country, but it's in San Francisco's Paradise Lounge where he really packs him in. He's got the audience thinking they've died and gone to Vegas. Who could forget this rock classic? Wrote it in one week. Hit for seven weeks straight. In a god of the Vita, baby. Don't you know that I dig ya? Now we could have sworn Douglas Engel wrote that for Iron Butterfly. Your pants should be so crisp and so perfect that they can do the show without you. Oh, the answer, my friends, is blowing in the wind. The answer is hang down your head, Tom. Do the... Everyone, here we go. Bobby Dylan. What a nice kid he is. I wrote uh, Blowing in the Wind for him. Wayne Newton. I wrote Donkashen. A little known fact that I wrote Donkashen for him. And no better language to sing it in than the language of love the language of German. The names go on and on, and I hate to drop names, and we have such a little time here. The theme song uh, for Love Boat. I wrote that. Um, Jack Jones, by the way, did a wonderful job with that. I never heard of him, and he didn't write the Love Boat theme. Uh, Paul Williams came to me with that song uh, himself. Buddy has become so popular that he's written a book appropriately titled You Ought to Be Me, How to Be a Lounge Singer and Live Like One. This little book includes such chapters as What That Cat Upstairs Gave Me, Grooming, The Tan and the Manicure, and Charisma. It's easy and oh so essential if you want that Buddy Love look. You could be swinging like a star. Well, Buddy Love won't tell us how much money he makes, but he does say he's saving everything to build the Buddy Love Museum and gift shop 
in Las Vegas. And Inside Edition Weekend, we'll be right back.